Welcome back on the surface. The Golden Boy had it all. Even that nickname gave off an aura of perfection. But Oscar De La Hoya fought with more than just his opponents in the ring. Yeah, his story is being told in a two-part HBO documentary film, The Golden Boy, now available on HBO and to stream on Max. In it, Oscar pulls no punches, describing his life, his flaws, and hard lessons he learned about the business early on. The very first contract I signed, I didn't receive the million dollars. I was supposed to receive a brand new car. I got like a, I don't know, beat up something. I don't know what the hell it was. The home that they promised me on contract was leased. I went to the bank and I asked, like, you know, how much do I have in the bank? Oh, Mr. De La Hoya, you have uh, roughly $12,000 to your name. $12,000? There's so much in this documentary. I finished watching it this morning. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it, w it was really good and worth watching again, actually, because it's a heavy, it's a heavy piece. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a real piece. Um, it's a very authentic piece, and um, I didn't want any sugar coating and anything like that, so I just wanted everybody to know the truth. And so much of it is changing the narrative, right? There was a narrative put out there in terms of your image and what you were fighting for. Uh -uh, and then right. the reality was so much different. Explain sure. to people what you really want to convey in all this. Um, well, what I want to convey in this uh, is obviously the truth. But um, the golden boy, how he came about. So at six years old, I started fighting uh, under pressure like family pressure and my father and forcing me and you know and so then when I win the gold medal in the Olympics when I was 18 years old in 92 then I have the pressure from the world on my shoulders and so the golden boy is born and um, it was just too much it was overwhelming for me and the story was in the Olympics um, that it was my mother's dying wish for me to win the gold well it really wasn't it's like the media basically made that up. And you just went with it. And I just went with it because I'm, I'm like this kid from East L.A. and just shy and doesn't really speak up. Well, it made a good up. story. It, it made, made a, a great story. story, but then, but I'm living now with a lie inside of me and it's like, it just burned in me. It just, it ate me up all these years and everything just started escalating with problems, um, with issues that come with getting a lot of money at an early age and fame and if you don't know how to handle it it can literally eat you alive and this documentary just shows how I'm just very lucky to be alive basically wow. so when you look back now I know people say you know I don't have regrets because I am who I am today because of everything that I've sure. experienced but do you looking back have regrets just personally because for yeah. me this documentary was getting to know the personal side of you uh -huh. that you haven't really opened up about sure. and it wasn't even about the boxing it no, was about getting no. to know the right. regrets personally that yeah. you have you know um, I have my kids in there for a reason and they're talking about me and I actually yesterday I saw them for the first time um, like talking about me on TV and so I wanted their perspective on how they feel about me like through the camera and um, it's pretty deep it's 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 painful to to watch them and so I have my father in there who is he painted himself like a villain it's crazy because my father was very tough you know he was this macho guy who's like just just was very very tough on me you know and um and then my mother who um who uh, unfortunately was very like physically abusive to me but i'm lucky i had this outlet which is boxing inside the ring so i can let out my frustrations um, all these years, I just was, I was a lost soul, basically. You know what's interesting? In one part of the documentary, you say when you're in the ring, you envisioned your mother's face yeah. and you were hitting yeah, her it was back, painful. which was yeah. just to hear you yeah. say that because of yeah. all the abuse that she'd put, sure. put in it your life. It was painful, yeah. As a kid, it's, I mean, what kid wants to get, you know, Do you think that on, you know? experience, that tough experience, the feeling of not being loved, you were the middle child mm. for some reason, you got the harsh end of the sure. stick. Do you feel that pushed you then to fight harder oh, yeah. and to be greater in this weird sure. irony it's of It's crazy. Life? It's weird. It's, it's twisted. Um, I wouldn't have been who I am if I didn't live that lifestyle it's in a weird way. Like, I had so much anger in me. And I'm this nice guy outside the ring, and anybody who knows me, it's like, my gosh, how, how did this happen to you? But 
for me, it was, you know, you go to school in the morning and, and you come home and I would, you know, get some beatings, whatever. And then I would, I would go to the gym and let my frustrations out. And um, when she passed away, because she, she never told me she loved me. Um, and so that was very painful for me, too, because, my gosh, she's not here anymore. And I can't express myself on how I feel about her. So I remember going to the cemetery after I won the gold. And she, obviously, I go to her grave and I, I start, like, just crying and, and so angry. At the end, I kind of forgave her. Like, I know who she is and how she grew up and how tough she, her upbringing was. Uh, but then I liberated myself when I spoke to her, you know. So, and I did this with my father as well, like, two years ago. I told him I love him for the first time, and it was pretty cool. Wow. It's a fascinating yeah. story, and thank you so much for sharing it with everybody through yeah. this documentary. And uh, what an yeah. amazing life that Appreciate you have it. left. Yeah. Uh, it, it was tough, yeah. But yes. We got tough. through it. Yes. And so many <laughs> lessons that yeah. everyone could take away sure. from this. Thank you so much, Oscar De La Hoya, Appreciate for being here. You. And, of course, you can watch this, the two-part HBO documentary film, The Golden Boy, now available on HBO and to stream on Max. Maria. Oh my gosh, Oscar.